So a couple of days ago, we got involved in a really heavy-duty discussion on Facebook about network marketing because it started with a lady who, and it's a great lady, and there's a good chance she's watching this right now, but sent me this awkward, clumsy, canned uh, letter. Would you like to lose some weight and make some extra money? The thing we've seen, if you've been involved in that industry, you've seen that canned letter over and over again. And I was surprised because it's not what I expected from her. And then I regrouped and realized that as much as she's been around my stuff, and I'm sure other people's stuff too, she's new to the industry. So I gave her a pass. But it was a great starting point for a conversation about what it takes to be successful. And quick disclaimer, I'm not an expert trainer in network marketing. Head on over to dianehockman.com if that's what you're looking for in any kind of home business training. What I do is I position people to get strong and confident so that they can succeed in any business that they want. Excuse me. I'm coming off of a chest cold. And by the way, my notes are just off camera. And so for those of you who are wondering if it's okay to look at your notes while you're talking, yes, it's what I'm doing right now. So let me take a look at this. One of the guys, and this is fascinating, he said, "Network." I'm gonna read this. Network marketing is a scam because it is built on the backs, the profits are built on the backs of uninformed people who are paying into the system. Is that true? Do people who um, join network marketing fail? Of course they do. They fail probably at about the same rate as people who join any traditional small business. Restaurants fail, I'm sure, at about the same rate as network marketing businesses. Any small business is going to fail at a pretty good size rate. And the reasons are always the same. You don't get educated in the thing that you're looking to do. So is it the fault of the network marketing industry, home business industry, that people fail? If it's a legitimate company, if it's an ethical company, if it's a company where you know the marketing plan, you know what it takes to get involved, no, that's not a scam. Not at all. Now, the guy also goes along, comes along to say that we are marketing to people in the same old ways. And it's the same old training. Well, no. This is the 21st century. You can learn to be a strong, commanding, safe presence. And do it from a position of integrity and authority and have an actual product to sell. And that goes back to the original point. Your profit does not have to be built on the backs of people who come into the system and fail. Profits can be built on the exchange of money for a good quality product or service. And that's what I've heard in the past called your dream pop money. That's where the money that people make is built on from people paying in to get a quality product or service from a person or a group of people they feel good about. How would you like to be the person that people feel good about? How would you like to be the person that introduces someone to a product that gets them to lose weight and get healthy? How would you like to be the person that brings people into the system that saves them money on their energy bill? or their gas, or their telecommunications, or all of the things that home businesses do. That's a value-added proposition. I don't know what your thing is, but to say that any industry is built on the backs of people who fail, there's an easy solution to that. Don't be one of them. Bring people in the way that you would want to be brought in and get strong and get confident and apply that strength and confidence to something real world that you can bring people to and that you feel good about and that they can feel good about too and then create a culture in your own environment that duplicates and that feels good to everyone who comes after. That's how you create a value-added proposition. That's how you create a home business that you can feel good about.